Ukrainian military expert Oleg Katov says that Russia's most massive S-400 system is not an effective instrument of intercepting ballistic missiles. The Russians claim that the S-300 V-4, S-400 and S-500 air defense systems are capable of intercepting ballistic missiles. However, there are numerous videos showing strikes on these systems with ATA CMS missiles, which are quite old and not very long range, as they have been in service with the United States since the late 1980s. This suggests that the S-400 has problems intercepting such missiles. Although it is impossible to say that these systems cannot destroy ballistic missiles at all, their effectiveness is insufficient. They may be able to intercept only 10 to 20 percent of ballistic missiles, but this is not a high level of efficiency, Katov said on Espresso TV. According to the military expert, Russia's most massive S-400 system is not an effective means of intercepting ballistic missiles. Therefore, Ukraine needs to have such long-range weapons as ballistic missiles. By the way, Iran and the North Korea also do not have the capabilities to counter ballistic missiles as well. None of these countries, including the Russian Federation, has effective means of countering ballistic missiles and does not possess modern missile defense systems, Katov emphasized. Recently, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has announced that Ukraine has successfully tested its first domestically produced ballistic missile. Zelensky said that Ukraine is making significant progress in producing its own weapons, including drones, artillery, shells and missiles. He emphasized that maintaining this production pace is crucial, stating, If we cannot keep up, Russia will catch up and we will face problems. Missiles are an expensive program and we need to invest in it more. Right now, our budget doesn't have the funds for this. We've already allocated everything we can, Zelensky said. He also revealed that Ukraine has successfully tested its first domestically produced ballistic missile, though he did not provide any details. I thought it was too soon to go into details, but I wanted people to know about the hard work of those putting in long hours at our defense factories. Zelensky added, Some experts say that a great danger has arisen for military bases in Russia. The General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces have confirmed the first case of loss of F-16 fighter aircraft in its territory. In a statement released on Thursday, the General Staff stated that the fighter jet was destroyed in a crash on Monday. While approaching the target, contact was lost with one of the F-16s. As it turned out later, the plane crashed and the pilot died, the statement reads. A special commission of the Ministry of Defense has been assigned to work in the area of the crash to determine the causes of the accident. It should be noted that the accident took place weeks after Ukraine received the first batch of much-anticipated F-16 fighter jets. Kiev has been lobbying for Western partners' delivery of American-made aircraft to its territory, claiming that fighter jets will help the country fight back against Russia's superior air power.